Now I've only talked about custom properties a little bit in this channel before, and that's nothing close to how I actually use them in proportion. I'm using these things all the time. And if you're not using them, my guess is that you're just not spotting the opportunities where custom properties would actually be the perfect solution. And this week, one of those situations arose when a client of mine asked for their blog post to be color coded by category. Now I hadn't done this before, but thanks to custom properties, this was actually a really simple chore to knock out. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it with just a couple lines of CSS. So if that sounds like something you'd like to add to your tool belt, stick around and let's get started. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit of work just to set up this demo for you. What you can see here is just a typical blog page with all the cards for my blog post. And if we click into these, we have a very simple single post layout setup. But as you can tell here on this blog page, we have different categories. Here's insights and lesson, and you can see those kind of repeat throughout these posts, but it's hard to identify which one's which unless you stop down and read them. Color coding them could give visitors a visual cue to help them understand which posts they might be looking for. So instead of setting all these up with the same blue background, we're actually gonna set them up with a custom property that will allow us to change that color based on what category the post's in. That sounds complicated, but it actually couldn't be more simple. Let's go ahead and edit this page. We'll click here into our category label, and I do have this set up with a class, which is blog hyphen card double underscore category. We're gonna go ahead and click into that here and we'll go into backgrounds and you can see our background color is just set to be one of the colors from our color palette. If you notice here, we're not seeing a raw hex value. This is actually a variable as well, but these variables are tied into what Generate Press creates and we need to create our own custom property here, not one that already exists. Just a quick editor's note, I end up using the term custom properties and variables kind of interchangeably throughout this entire video. So don't be too confused. They mean the same thing. Just somehow I ended up saying custom properties sometimes and variables the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this word accent. We do need to keep the var, the open parentheses and the two double dashes. And instead I'm gonna call it category color. Now this color hasn't actually been defined in our CSS yet, so you can see it's disappeared from our screen here. But that's okay, we can actually take one more step here to set a fallback. Just after the word color, I'm gonna add a comma, a space, and then I'm gonna give it a fallback. In this case, I'm just gonna say lime because I know that's gonna stand out and it's not gonna look right, so we know if we're seeing this lime green, something hasn't worked properly, and at least now we can see that there's something on our screen. So with that in place, I'm gonna go ahead and hit update, save these changes, and let's go take a look on the front end. Now here, all we've really done is change that nice blue color we had to this awful green one, but we've set the stage to be able to write just a couple lines of CSS that will fix this problem. Now we're gonna have to use the right selector in order to target this custom property and give it a value. I wanna show you how to be able to do that by inspecting your page. So what I'm gonna do is just right click here and hit inspect. We'll make sure that we are targeting one of these posts, we can see this GB grid column, that's what you're looking for is a div in here that starts with the GB hyphen grid hyphen column. Now you'll notice at the end of the list of all these classes, we have a class called category hyphen insights. Whenever we add a category to a post, we actually get this nice little class that gets appended onto the end of this div that says category, recognizing that it's a category, and then a hyphen, and then whatever our category name is. So here for this post that says insights, you can see our class is category hyphen insights. But if I went over here and inspected this one, we can see that this one is category hyphen lesson, since this category right here is the word lesson. I know that's probably hard to see. It follows the same naming convention, although it is a good idea to go ahead and inspect these and check them to make sure the right ones are there, because if you've renamed some of your categories, those classes might not be in sync with the visual label you're seeing. So now that we know we have category hyphen lesson and category hyphen insights, we can go ahead and close that inspector and jump into the customizer so we can start writing our CSS. I'm gonna go down here to additional CSS. And the first thing we're gonna do is just write category hyphen insights. Now, just to make sure we know that we're targeting the right thing, we can just go here and add a border. We'll do one pixel solid. And we can see we're actually targeting any of these cards that have the category insights class added to them, which are just the ones here that say insights inside the label while it's not targeting any of the lesson ones. So we know that we have our selector right. Now what we need to do instead of adding a border is define the value of our custom property. If you remember, our custom property was category hyphen color, and we put a colon there, and now we can define what that color is. 
So just for simplicity's sake, let's just put the word blue in there. Now you can see any of the posts that have the category of insights have been changed to this blue color. What's happening here is we're defining this variable, but only where this class is present. So essentially anything inside of something that has this class, this variable is being defined as blue. Now, since this lesson post doesn't have this class on it, we're still not defining that variable. So what we need to do now is go in here and do category hyphen lesson, open and close our parentheses. And again, we wanna go ahead and type in our custom property here, which is category color. Now we can define that color. Let's just go ahead and do red. So now you can see all of our posts that are insights are blue and all of our posts that are lesson are red. And this carries out through our entire post grid here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just swap these colors out for something a little bit nicer, but we can see they're still working here. So let's go ahead and hit publish. We'll exit here and we'll just verify that it's all working on the front end. Now I do have a simple single post template that's showing up here and we have this gray bar in the background that could really use a splash of color. And we can use this same principle here to actually color this bar inside of our single post type. Let's go ahead and go to our elements here to this single post content template I have set up. We'll click on our background here and we'll scroll down to where we find our background color defined. Again, this is using one of the default color variables for generate press. But if we change this out to category hyphen color and hit update, when we go view the post on the front end, we'll see now all the posts are green for the tag that we've labeled green, which is insights. And if we go to lesson, we see that it's got this nice indigo purple color. Now this is probably a very basic example of what custom properties can do, but it's a very practical one, which is why I wanted to show it inside this video. Using custom properties allows you to define your own values and then change them throughout your CSS in a way that nothing else can really do. It's a super handy tool to have in your arsenal and hopefully going forward, you'll be able to spot some more opportunities to use these awesome little tricks. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to catch the next one, make sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you then.